It turns out that the inflammatory cytokine reaction increases in prevalence with glycine deficiencies. This makes a lot of sense because glycine has an inhibitory action, and via glycine-gated chloride channels in immune cells can temper many inflammatory cytokines, including interleukin-6. The important thing to understand about amino acids is the fact that in our modern, culturally normal diets, especially in the Western world, we tend to eat a lot of muscle meat and askew meats such as organs, as well as collagen-rich connective tissue and bones from the animal. This leads to an amino acid imbalance over time in your body, causing deficiencies in amino acids that your body needs for important cellular processes, while increasing circulating amounts of other amino acids into a surplus, which can ultimately be harmful. For example, muscle meats, which do contain small amounts of glycine, are much higher in methionine, an amino acid that gets converted into the universal methyl donor, SAMe. Your body has innate methionine regulating mechanisms to get rid of excess methionine. However, these mechanisms are dependent on the presence of adequate glycine to operate properly. So without enough glycine, and especially in the presence of excess circulating methionine, your body's gonna have a really difficult time creating glutathione, which is the master antioxidant, and it's crucial for regulating inflammation. The liver cannot keep up with the demand of trying to synthesize endogenous glycine via the glycine serine pathway because you eventually run out of the raw materials involved in the process. Excess methionine sends your system into overdrive, trying to constantly get rid of it. This results in widespread degenerative inflammation in your body. Quite simply, consuming more glycine can stop this. Luckily, glycine is actually really affordable and really easy to get in high amounts. Uh, personally, I consume between 10 and 15 grams a day of glycine, specifically from uh, collagen and grass-fed bone broth. And when I eat muscle meats, like uh, maybe grass-fed beef or elk, venison, that sort of thing, which have a naturally higher level of methionine than glycine, I make sure that I also put uh, some of the bone broth on that because it's really important to balance the, the glycine and methionine ratios. And it's actually super easy to do. All this biology may sound quite complicated, but when a basic understanding of the need for these important nutrients is in place, taking action on it is surprisingly easy. I recommend building regular glycine consumption into your daily habits. It's incredibly useful to your body, to say the least. So eat more glycine.